Let's see. Ah. Okay. Hi there. So look at this wicked cool amazing outfit real quick first because this is um, my birthday present to myself. I had to think for a second there. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I so, so appreciate it. So this is like um, a romper from Darker Wasps and it has the wrench down the side, which is super cute. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's amazing. But let me also show you some paintings real quick. This one is huge, so <clears throat> you're only going to see part of it. I'll show you more of that in a minute. But I hope you're all well. It's so good to see you. I was meant to wait a bit, but I do have a family engagement that I must take care of. But check this out. Look how pretty this is. Ah, I love that so much. So that's me and my niece. We did that. She was visiting for a few days and she was supposed to be here for a few more days, but then she had to go because believe it or not, at her age, she is a godmother and she's taking care of her godmother duties. So that's like just amazing. Amazing. She was very sweet. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I just wanted to show you some paintings and say sorry again about, um, the stream and such because it just happened that the neighbor needed help and you guys know that um the church is amazing and we love helping them out so you know it's gonna happen it's gonna happen they're just amazing people this one's really cool and weird <laughs> let me know what you guys think do you like them do you not like them are they crazy are they too much no i don't think so i think they're just enough oh i like this one <clears throat> okay, so as per usual, I just noticed some things going on that I wanted to talk to you about that like I thought stuck out that I felt like was very strange and the pattern keeps persisting and I feel like I need a freaking button right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me just get a stable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't, ah, I won't do that. You know what? That's why we love this stream. It's the base. Are you gonna stay? All right, perfect, okay. So I've just been seeing a lot, I agree with that, everyone is uniquely beautiful, about certain things, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I'm a very curious cat. So, you know that recently we were speaking about DNA and what's going on with that and all these advancements and basically where that's headed. Well, essentially, it always ends up leading me kind of like in loops at times back to quantum physics and so on and so forth. If you didn't see this painting yet, this one is called The Expanse. It's really good. But, um, so there's a video I watched and this part of it was called Physics or Not. Carrie D. Pitnier recently argued for a larger hadron collider. Hey there, thanks so much for joining me. Did you hear that? A larger hadron collider. Like, they're not big enough. Do you know how many of those are? Do you know how many of those there are? More than you might think. They're actually, like, all over the world. And I do wonder, could that steer a planet? Like, genuinely, I'm just curious. But could it? You know, like, could it? <laughs> okay. So, they're saying that our model of the universe is not full. It's not correct. It is not adequate. Like, it does, it does not show our full existence. So they say that these experimental concerns and observations suggest the existence of new particles at the multi-TV scale, which is Terra Electron volts. And this is crazy, because what would the new collider test? Just that. So what they're saying is they need a bigger collider. And before they were searching for the God particles, so what are they searching for now? Just curious, and we know that that brings us back to the recent discussion at Congress talking about UAPs, UFOs, aliens, the existence, not having a means to go forward with the conversation with the American public, mm, just all thoughts that we should consider. So it states that no concerns suggest that there is anything at that scale, meaning there's no proof that this is true. There's no proof that all of a sudden this new energy is out there, that it's going to fix things, so on and so forth, right? So we are hearing more and more 
that we need this collider, and I'm hearing it from multiple sources. They're arguing for the collider, they want the collider, it's certain areas specifically that want the collider, and it's something that we have no sign of. Like, why do you need the collider if there is no proof to get that collider, essentially? So they need to go out there and make things up. Oh, thank you, Days of Office, you're so amazing. Yeah, it's like, come on, like, even... Okay, I get so frustrated because some people are just like, it's the facts and science. Okay, let's stick with the facts and science then. How come everybody still cannot handle this? How come everybody does not understand this? Like, what? We're sticking to the facts and violence, um, science and people are still like, huh? Huh? <laughs> exactly, maybe it's to open the dimensions. Maybe they're actually portals. Remember those black rings? Remember that it was on that movie? And then it was in real life, and they were like, oh no, a black ring appeared in the sky. And people were like, oh, that's weird. And then it happened to be over the Hadron Collider. Hmm. I don't know. Anything's possible. They probably are trying to let in inter interdimensional beings. Like, why wouldn't they, right? Of course they would. Because <laughs> that's life. So, yeah, apparently at this time, there's just no sign of it right now. Most commonly used claims would justify this to happen is quantum gravity, the Higgs boson mass, dark matter, and dark energy. And that's what's important, exactly, is the dark matter and dark energy. These are things that we keep hearing more and more about that I wanted to talk to you guys about because they're talking about creating things in the fourth D and being fully synthetic. Huh? What? Whoa? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. It's sus to me. It seems sus. And I know that sometimes, you know, all this quantum stuff, it may not be, it may not seem as fun, but I promise you it does get fun because it gives you a better understanding of the world around you and how to exist in this place, right? All right. So, yeah, it goes on to dark energy and dark matter. So in the foundation of physics, we are currently using two different theories, okay? Remember, a theory is something that is not proven, okay? And that is Einstein's general relativity or the quantum field theory named the standard model of particle physics. So what that does is it collects elemental particles and the forces that hold them together and it makes a chart, essentially. And on the end there, you would have the Higgs boson, which they use to determine um, math equations, mathematical equations, and it's not as if the Higgs boson is flawed, it's um, the math of just doing it to get the right answer, right? It's not to get the correct answer, it's to get what the answer they want. I hope that makes sense. It should make sense. <laughs> okay, so we're hearing more and more that we need this collider. What could this be a sign of? What could this mean? I'm just very curious as to what you think. So, again, like I stated, I don't know, it's all, it's all very sus to me. It's all very, like, strange, strange timing. Timing is always very important. Oh, and another big important thing is many often confuse math with physics. And that's why it's so important to really kind of look into these things and get a better understanding. Trust me, I wish I knew I had these um, big interests while I was in school so that I could really have started on physics a lot sooner because having to learn about it later in my life was a little confusing, but I'm still grateful that I've sat down and taught myself these things because it does better help me understand why this world is so weird and how it exists the way it does. <laughs> All right. So it's saying that they're essentially making the numbers match what's needed at times. The quantum fluctuations are possible, but officials say that many argue that this does not exist. So it's also going to go on to say you cannot measure the gravity of very small objects, but you can measure the ones with the large. And then it goes on to dark matter and the issue with dark matter and dark energy. And if you remember, there was that video game Prey, and that one was um, all about dark matter and what's going to happen next. And I just find that all really, really curious. Like, I find it interesting to see where we're about to go because again going back to the side quest of congress and all of this and that okay if we are to think okay 
alien ancestors or species are out there. This could be our next um, fourth industrial revolution, essentially. This could be our next uh, big thing. Well, then, if that is so, think about all that we're doing with DNA and Neuralink and all these things, and even, like, the VR. I don't know. <laughs> to me, it's like, hmm, kind of seems like we're going to a bad place. Kind of seems like a place we don't want to go. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, thank you for joining me. You guys are amazing. You're so, so sweet. I really, really do appreciate you so much. I love just being so comfy on this train, hanging out with y'all. Okay, so it's very curious to me because, like, in the end, it's like, what is the end goal of all this? What is the end goal? Like, what are they really doing this for? What is the point? What does it matter? And what effect will that have on mankind? Where do we go from here, right? So how could it affect mankind? What is the true end goal? Is there truly any new mysterious or even magical, what some may call magic, right? Magical particles out there just waiting to be found. Again, with the side quest of Congress, UAPs, aliens, and interdimensional beings, Mm, all of it really does seem to kind of line up together. Maybe that's just me. So it's just curious that another big thing is like these energies and the particles, right? So they need all this money to find this new energy particle. They need it for the collider, okay? But at the same time, we're not seeing any significant changes that there is any other positive or powerful energy source that could run our world. When they say, we're going green, we're going blah, 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 we're doing this, that, we're not seeing it. We're not seeing any, at this time, valuable energy source that could change our world. So what do you think could happen next? Anybody? Hmm? You, 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 who? Me? Okay, I'll tell you. Maybe, maybe we get to the point where we do get a new energy source. And they actually talk about it and say, oh my goodness, like, let's change the world for good for once. Could you imagine? I mean, we can hope. A girl can dream, right? I don't know. It's just very curious to me. The way things line up is very curious to me. It's very curious because the energy, that whole part is so significant. It's so important. Exactly. They went on this money. That is facts. And they will continue to find ways to get money out of us. Whether that be by charities Mind you, some are good, some are horrible. Please look into it before you donate or things like that. <laughs> I know, free the energy. I agree with that. Oh my goodness, Tesla right now, I just try and embody him and like think about it in my meditation and think, how, how? Like, what does Nikola Tesla think right now? And y'all, before you think Tesla, the car, y'all are driving me crazy with this crap, okay? How come none of y'all know Nikola Tesla? Like some of you do, but I, I know for a fact these younger kids, every time I see Tesla, they think, oh, the car. Huh? That's the problem with Tesla, is they don't think Nikola Tesla anymore. They think, oh, the car, a Tesla. Oh, a Tesla. I don't know. Times are sus. It's a weird time. Hmm. And especially now, right? Like, especially now when times are like, it, I don't know, in a way, it seems as though it's like the calm before the storm. Like maybe we're in the eye of the storm because it seems like there's this dreary, like odd calmness. But at the same time, we know that there's some BS whipping around the corner and we're like, so when's that going to happen? Like, when does that part take place? <laughs> right? Just saying. It's good to be aware. It's good to read the writing on the wall. Okay. Not trying to scare nobody I'm just saying pay attention so there's no energy source that is new current recent that can fix civilization there's no energy source where all this money is going that is solving that issue right so again it is another place where they just get you to send your money and they get you to spend your money like for goodness sakes you, you don't have to do that. Like, you need your money. I don't know if you know this, but, like, you need your money. And you really can't help anyone else out until you help yourself out first. Until you've gotten your things together. Like, it's just not possible, right? So just consider that. I don't know. It's just to me. So is it simply being kept from the public? Is there a different reason as to why they don't want to talk about it? And why? Like, why? I don't get it. Why? <laughs> 
And again, if they were looking for the God particle, what are they looking for now? Like they can say, as I stated, they're looking for a certain particle in a certain area, but there's again, no proof for that. So what are they really doing? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm going to ask one more time. If the earth is to work in the way that we are told, and it is the ball model, egg model, whatever, it is circular, okay? Just like, for example, okay? Could you, could you steer a planet with all those, with all those? Could you? Or what could you do? How does it affect the planet, right? Because if you've got these hadron colliders, and they are, you know, slamming particles into one another at rates that you would not believe, what are they doing? Like, what are they really doing? I don't know. <laughs> it makes me go, hmm. Let's look at a couple more paintings right quick. I'll cycle through some of the older ones. But listen, oh, I don't know, you guys. I just see all this stuff going on, and I keep seeing the patterns of these stories, these topics repeating, and it's like, but why do they repeat? Why do they repeat? Why does this have to happen? I'm just curious to see where these things go, you know? And for those of you who are following the case with BK, um, apparently he came out with his alibi, and it was that he was just driving. So, there's that, which is pretty wild. Um, other than that, the only other case that I've been really kind of like keeping an eye on is this Miss Shabiznes. Oh, Shabiznes. It was not Shabiznes at all, right? This woman, what a scary creature, like what a scary human being. I don't know, sometimes um, humans still amaze me with the depth that they can go of. Just madness. Just utter madness, y'all. <laughs> you wouldn't think that, you know, they could get to this point, but they can. People, they do. They can. All right. So, I really do want to show you the big one, so I'm going to have to do that, okay? It's not this one, but prepare yourself, okay? Because I'm going to have to back your booty up. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Back that thing up. Don't mind my chair. It's ever so beautiful. Hello, Mr. Chair. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. I hope it can fit. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ah, I stretched this one myself. And I made this canvas myself. And I spent probably like four days on the canvas alone. Can you see it? Can you see it, Mike? Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful it is. So it's supposed to be like a stained glass window. I think this might be one of my best ones ever. Like, for real. This is such a beautiful thing. I'm so impressed. Like, I don't know, I just shock myself sometimes, you know? <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you like it? Um, let me actually back it out just a little bit more. Because I don't think you're getting the full effect of, like, the pow. Ooh, wow, look at that. Okay. Here we go. Again, don't be worried you're just gonna back out we're gonna take a peek wow oh my goodness it just looks so good yay yeah so i've been working on that i think i'm um purging again you guys know when i get in a very artistic mood i just start purging artistically and that's all right there's another painting over there hello buddy hello so yeah this one is just gorgeous it's getting there it's a tree it's um a stained glass window is meant to just I don't know. Um, be a symbol of one's good lord. <laughs> Faith and beauty and things like that. Because I just think it's so, so, just elegant. Very elegant. Very different and regal. Look at how big that bad boy is alone. Like, good golly. Oh my gosh. Alright. So you can see... That one is quite rather big. Again, there's this guy. And soon, I'll be doing these types of streams where it's like, we're actually gonna be like selling them. It'll be more like um, an auction and you can be like betting on them, which is really neat. I'm so excited for that. Like I should have definitely started that up already, but your girl has had family over. I've been so busy. Um, you know, not smoking ciggies and not amazing. Life is amazing. Just living my best life. <laughs> Being my best self. Ta da! Look at this one, is just so strange. I cannot get over how strange this one is. Alright. 
quite beautiful a lot. This one is another one where it's like I'm just really impressed. <laughs> okay. Look at that. I can see. What do you think about that? Ah, so pretty. Yeah, it's just so unique. Okay, one more. And then I will let you guys go soon because I know. Wow, your day is busy. I amaze myself <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, thank you guys seriously so, so much for hanging out though. And just keep your eyes open, okay? Like, keep your um, finger on the pulse of what's going on because you just never know what's going on. And, I don't know, don't feel bad for just being aware. I just don't think that's a terrible thing, you know? People will be like, uh, who cares? I don't give a rat's boot. That's what I don't. <laughs> okay? So, yeah, this one is a plan that's so cute. Yeah, I think I just need to do a little bit more, like, looking into this, see where this kind of topic and conversation really is going, and see what they plan to do with it, because I'm just so curious. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think it's definitely, like, I'm in a purging, I'm in a time of purging. But that's okay, because I've been, like, um, downsizing and, like, uh, giving away and selling my old clothes and just doing all kinds of stuff to, like, downsize my life and just be humble and grateful and hopefully it works you know <laughs> i'm trying lori i'm not like i said i'm not smoking a cigarette i'm just trying to trying to be a good person you know but i just had a birthday and yesterday was my grandma's birthday so i always get like a little sentimental about yesterday but it was a good day it was, it was a good day and my grandma would be 105 today so how cool is that, right? Like, how cool is that? Long time attack runs in my family. So, I have that to look forward to, which is good for me. Yeah. All right. Other than that, that's all I've got for now. You all better behave. Take care of yourselves, okay? Tell your loved ones you love them. You don't need an excuse a lot. You really don't. Um, and just stay aware, okay? Stay away, stay aware, stay well. I don't know. I thought there was like one or two more stories, but I feel like I should just look deeper into it and kind of make a couple more connections. And y'all know I'm not even getting into the Lizzo thing right now. Oh, no, 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 no. I told you. I told you. She, she's someone that like loves to be the butt of the joke and done. Boy, she did it, didn't she? Whew. She ain't never coming back. <laughs> Thank you so much. But like how wild is this, this reality that we live in? Times are strange, okay? But don't be strange like that, okay? Don't... Mm, ugh. <laughs> Alright. Be well. See you soon. Bye!